In this video we will be finding exact value of secant of pi over 3. Anytime you see exact value it will be a problem about finding one of the special angles which are 0, 45, 60, 90 or the angles that fall on x or y axis. Now if you're not good with radians you should be able to convert pi out of 3 into degrees by multiplying it by 180 over pi pi's will cancel and one third of 180 is equal to 60 degrees so looking for exact value of a secant of pi out of 3 is the same as looking for exact value for secant of 60 degrees on this step it's up to you you can either derive a 60 30 reference triangle but i prefer to use a reference table so i need to just remember that secant of an angle is a reciprocal or one divided by cosine of that angle so let me derive the reference table we have zero one two three Four, take a square root of this whole thing and divide everything by 2. Cosine reference goes from right to left, so cosine of 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 degrees. Since I'm looking for a secant of 60 degrees, I need to look for its reciprocal, which is cosine of 60 degrees, because we will take 1 and divide it by cosine of 60 to get our exact value for secant of 60 degrees and on the reference table cosine of 60 degrees is on top of 1 so cosine of 60 degrees is square root of 1 divided by 2 so cosine of 60 degrees is equal to 1 half if you have the special values memorized, you do not need to look up the reference table. So now we can calculate secant of 60 degrees, which is equal to 1 divided by 1 half. This is equal to 1. We change division into multiplication. Flip the second fraction, 2 out of 1. So we get that secant of 60 degrees is equal to 2. So secant of pi out of 3 is equal to 2, since pi out of 3 is the measure of 60 degrees in radians. That's all. 